your fault, Henry. How was it my fault? You ruined last year's play. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. You were supposed to say no when we asked if there was any room at the inn. And you said yes. Come on in. Just being friendly. Whatever. I am not letting you ruin it this year. Sorted. What do you mean, sorted? It seems uh, mm, that the school panto has been saved. Yay! <laughs> Due to the kindness of a mystery benefactor. That's my dad. Mystery benefactor. Uh, yes, thank you, Margaret. Oh, don't thank me! That's my dad. So, where were we? Auditions, Miss Battleaxe. Pardon, Margaret? The pant is the thing, I reckon, so we should audition now, don't you reckon? You're right, Margaret. The pant is the thing. But first, we need a director. Henry, perhaps you would do us the honour of directing the pant this year. What? Me? Uh, uh, no, thank you, Miss Battleaxe. Right then, that's settled. <laughs> you two sort it out at break time. Now, on with today's lesson. So that's how I ended up working with old Beetle Bolts. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean you, darling. I, I meant um, Peter. I, I meant Peter. He's playing a, a Beetle Bolts. Hello? <laughs> A beetle, Henry? If so, could I be the bogus and beetlearius? No, I've told you already, you're the white rabbit. But I'm a pink rabbit. Well, you'll just have to pretend, won't you? Oh, I see. You mean method acting. I can do that. I'm expected to work with that. Actually, being director isn't that bad. You get to boss everyone around. And with Ruth Ralph as my trusty lieutenant, what could go wrong? What have you got for me, Ralph? Uh, fearless Phantom is a no. He's too busy being fearless. Stunning Stella is a no. Too busy being stunning. And the two cool for school presenters. Too busy being too cool for school. You got it. I thought about asking Father Christmas, but then it's a busy time of year for him. Right. Anyone else want to appear in our perfect panto? I'm thinking as hard as I can, Henry. That's not easy for me. You've got to do more than just think, Ralph. We need a star by tonight, or else... Or else what? Or else we won't have one. Right. Like I said, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Actors don't dress themselves. Oh. Who's next? It's so easy being me. I'm Henry. Hey, Henry. Hi, Ralph. How was it? Oh, you know, another day, another double detention, and no pocket money for another month. Yeah, well, I've got something I want to show you. Cool. What's that? I finally found something I can be good at. Check this out. The meanest, most mega cool air guitar competition in the whole wide world? Cool. I bet I can win that no contest. Yeah, right. See you, Henry. Hey, Ralph, wait. Did you say it was something you could be good at? Well, yeah. I thought maybe I could, but you're right. You're the meanest air guitarist round here. You're bound to win. Well, yeah, maybe I would if I was in the contest. But, see, I'm not going to be in the contest, am I? What do you mean? Well, I'm going to be coaching you, aren't I? Well, really? You do that for me, Henry? What are friends for, Ralph? Cool! Thanks, Henry. Trust me, Ralph. You're going to be the meanest, most mega cool air guitarist in the whole wide world! <laughs> <laughs> That's what you think. <laughs> How did I do? Well, not, not bad, Ralph. But we're going to have to do some 
work. OK, where do we begin? We'll begin with the big one, the air cracker. Wow, 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 wow! <laughs> Good. I'll never be that good. Now listen to me, Ralph. You will be this good and better. You've just got to believe in yourself. And when you believe in yourself, nothing can stop you. Nothing except the triple G. <laughs> what do you mean? The Triple G is going to win the meanest, most mega cool air guitar competition in the whole wide world! I mean, the Triple G is going to win the meanest, most mega cool air guitar competition in the whole wide world! <laughs> no, he's not! Yes, he is! Isn't! Is! Isn't, isn't, isn't! Who's the Triple G, Margaret? Yeah, who's the Triple G anyway, Margaret? Only the most talented artist I've ever had the pleasure of working with! And he's the meanest, most mega cool air guitarist in the whole wide world. Is he? Don't listen to her, Ralph. She's trying to undermine you, to break your confidence. But if he really is the meanest, most mega cool air guitarist in the whole wide world... Listen to me, Ralph. He isn't. How do you know, Henry? You don't even know who he is. True. But I know how good you can be, Ralph. So don't give up now. I'm sorry, Henry. OK, Slugbots, this time it's personal. You bet it is, Turtle Toad. It's so easy being me, I'm hard Yeah, yeah, all right. 
Wait, I know, the sooner we can be certain that the purple hang gang's safe from any bogey brains that might want to have a go at it. Well, that's not exactly how I was going to put it, but yes. All right then, Worm, what do you want me to do? Why don't you take a seat over here and then you can fill in the form I've made. Here's your lunch, Henry. What's that painty smell? Uh, that's Lady High Excellent Majesty to you, Susan. Oh, uh, Margaret's painting her playhouse. Oh, I see. Henry, have you been thinking about why we took all your things away? Yes, Mum. And you won't do it again? No, Mum. Well, in that case, I suppose you've been punished enough. You can come out of your room now. Yes! And for heaven's sake, close your bedroom window. Yes! Freedom! <laughs> oh, look! A horrible monster! Ah, oh, it's so ugly! And you know what? He's pretty ugly too! <laughs> <laughs> Two doing here anyway? Uh, in case you've forgotten, I'm the leader of the Purple Hand Gang today. And tomorrow. And we want to know how you're going to get your revenge on Peter. It's got to be something mega, mega spectacular. Yeah, but no one can know it was me or I'll be in even more trouble. Ha! Can't believe Peter thought this was a real alien. <laughs> Peter believes anything. No. Program with an urgent news flash. The Earth has been invaded by aliens. Oh no! Oh no! What? from the invaders. You must paint your face and the outside of your house blue. Dumpty dumpty dum. Dumpty dum. What? <laughs> Peter! Are you responsible for this? Yes! It's so easy being me, I'm Henry. You should know the answer to that question. Why? Because it's my most favourite worm ever. Why can't I just call it a bogey beetle? Because it isn't a bogey beetle. It's a bogus and beetleorious. <laughs> like you're a bogus and worm <laughs> Henry, if you're going to be horrid, you can... Don't be horrid, Henry. Oh, how nice. Peter, are you sharing your knowledge with Henry? I was, but we've finished for the day. What? We've only just begun. Oh, come on, Peter. Tell me more about the bogey Beetalicious. It's the bogus and Beetalorious, Henry. I've told you a thousand times and you still can't get it right. Never mind, sweetie hun. Do you want to come and help me make some of those delicious fairy cakes that you love? Oh, yes, please! Um, Peter, could I, uh... Borrow one of my books? Well, 
Yes. As long as you put it back in exactly the right place, they're in... Yeah, yeah, I know. They're in alphabetical order. No, actually. S-C-A-C-S. -C -C that stands for Size, Colour, Alphabetical Classification System. Oh, I might have guessed. It's the new library classification system. Yeah, I might have guessed that too. It's all the rage with libraries nowadays. Not a lot of people know that. Hi, Henry. Coming out to play? Can't. I'm learning. Good afternoon, Henry. There are other ways to learn, you know, Henry. Oh, Brian! You like to be the deputy leader of the Purple Hand Gang, Brian. Hands off, Slugsnut. He's mine. What do you mean? I mean, I got to him first. He belongs to me. So don't even think about trying to persuade him otherwise. Is this true, Brian? Yes. She gave me her old mobile phone. Oh. The website we'll be using. Greetings, Lord. What's all this about, Henry? The competition. I thought you weren't doing the competition anymore because Margaret's got Brainy Brian on her side. I'm not doing it. Oh, right then. Let's go and play pirates then, shall we? You're doing it! Me? But I don't know anything. No, but I do. And anything I don't know, we can find out here! Oh, I see. I think. Time to get your fingers on the buttons. Phone, phone, where's the phone? Counting down. From now. Quick, give me your mobile! Confiscated, remember? Oh, yeah. Then we've got to find the phone! Hey! Can I help? Go and look in the fridge! The fridge? Don't ask, just go and look! It's so easy being me! I'm Mum says it's time to get up. Mum says you have to get up now. Mum says if you don't get up right away, you will never read another Bruce Class Zero comic, never watch another TV program. I think she means it, Henry. Right tonight. <laughs>
I know what you're thinking. You're thinking another typical morning in the Henry household. And you'd be right. It is another typical morning in the Henry household. That's got to think. I present to you my parents. Fair to say that my parents are the reason why my life just isn't fair. Of course, there's the worst world. And I'll be praying next door. And school, and teachers, and rude relatives, and dogs that wee on your leg. to be perfect. Let's face it, they're not exactly perfect, are they? Even when they're not wearing silly hats, Mum's always losing her phone, and Dad never knows where he's put his tie. So I thought I'd see what it was like having parents that were perfect. <laughs> Carrot stick, Henry. No thanks. Not unless it's carrot stick ice cream. Hey. Eh? Oh, everyone's eating vegetables. It's hard, Henry. I should know. Henry, Peter, tea time. I'm hungry. What's for tea? Ooh, sausages. Yes, Henry. Carrot sausages. Ooh, yummy. What? Carrot sausages? With boiled carrots and carrot mash. Why are there so many carrots? Don't be horrid, Henry. They're really good for you. What's for pudding? Carrot cake. Can you believe this? And so, what the Romans decided to do? Oh, let's see what's on the other side. This is a really squirmy salad with aubergines, apricots, peppers and courgettes. Chuck on a bit of basil and some grated carrot and your almond dry. Beautiful. Oh, it's a vegetable! Get me out of here! <laughs> carrots. Ice cream. More carrots. And this just in. From today, ice cream will no longer exist. <gasps> I repeat, ice cream has become extinct. Corsets, artichokes. Ooh, we can make a wonderful salad, Mum. <laughs> we need ice cream. Hey, where's all the ice cream gone? It, it's always been right here. Look at them. Well, it's not my fault they took away all the ice cream. Well, you can just help me put them away. <sighs> Collect six tokens and win a tour of the Frosty Freeze Ice Cream Factory. And write a slogan. Well, yeah, I guess I can do that. Carrots? Great! What? It's so easy. 